Well, Gil, it would have been more fun if you'd been here with me tonight to share these honors. You know, for my uncle, Takuna Lam was not just a matter of cutting a check. It was about really walking the walk, and I saw it on a personal level, on a family level, and it was a great role model for everybody in our family, and I think for our community, too. He was a productive person that conducted himself with a lot of integrity. And I think everybody realized that when he met him. Gil was a man of few words, but when Gil spoke, you listened, because you knew it was something either funny or important. He was a fine gentleman. Uh, it was my honor to know him. There weren't many people uh, like him that did what he did for the Jewish community. I think Gil was always so interested in the welfare of others. I mean, I think that was the biggest thing about Gil. I mean, I think that he was interested in making sure that he gave to the community. He gave of himself, he gave financially, but he did, he did every job. He served everywhere from president of boards to um, volunteer to really getting his hands dirty. I know he would have been so appreciative for the recognition that both he and Lois so richly deserved for the many years they gave of their means and their lives to the Jewish community here in Nashville and Israel. For me, Dad modeled what he believed. For the most part, I learned from what he did and not from what he said. And he was a wonderful role model. I remember one life lesson, though, that he told me, get involved in organizations that matter to you grow into a leadership role, then step back and support new leaders. This is a lesson I've tried to follow to this day. Of course, he, he just had a feel for people. And he described it very well. And one of the things he had a feel for was the Jewish Community Center movement. Mm -hmm. And that went on, the Federation and whatever was involved. He was a leader and took leadership positions in those things. I think he was always interested in repairing the world. He, he saw a problem and he tried to fix it. If we needed a program to solve an issue, if we needed something, he would, he would think of some way to do that. And I think he did that everywhere that he worked. At one time, my wife, Diane Trackman, was the president of the JCC. And in a very quiet way, Gil was one of her biggest allies. And she called Gil and he said, Diane, how much do you need? He knew exactly why she was calling. And the first time, I believe it was $15,000. It's for a senior program at the JCC. He said, give me a couple of days. As he promised, in a couple of days, he called back and he had raised the $15,000. My grandfather was a wonderful example of what it means to be Jewish, to do justice, to love mercy, and to walk humbly. He inspired in me and so many others what's truly important in life. He was a lifelong learner and a world citizen. He inspired in me a desire to get to know others, their experiences and their cultures, and a deep commitment to give back to my community. Back in the 70s and 80s when the four of us would get together socially, no matter where the conversation started, it always ended up with Lenny and Gil talking about the JCC, and Lois and I talking about the campaign or Jewish education. We expanded each other's horizons, I like to believe. I'll say he was a lot better tennis partner than golfer on, on the uh, putting green. <laughs> My dad always called him the gorilla when he was putting because he was so, so, so bad on the putting green, but he had a really good tennis game, and I was proud to say I was his doubles partner a lot uh, when I was growing up. Because of my grandfather, I have learned a lot about giving back. He was always contributing to so many causes with his money and his time and had a great impact on influencing us as grandchildren to do the same. But my grandfather's influence went deeper than modeling. He also imparted wise counsel. If he were here today, I would thank him for being a great support and role model and teaching the lesson that in any situation, if we can recognize what we have a value to give, we too can have a great impact. I would say, Gil, thanks for uh, all your support over the years. He was really a wonderful man. Well, I miss him. I think there are a lot of people in Nashville that miss him. Uh, he was always here. Uh, he really sorely missed for his leadership, his uh, laugh when he laughed, and 
for all that he gave to, to Nashville and to the Nashville Jewish community. Gil was a dedicated leader, serious and thoughtful, thorough and dependable. He had a warm smile and a big heart. He is missed tonight by all of us who knew him, worked with him, and admired him. He always had the ability to be happy and to share that happiness with everyone else. He was really good. He was really a good person and um, did a lot of wonderful things in our community. I'd say thanks for the leadership you've shown me how to be involved in. And I'd say thanks for being a great role model, essentially the patriarch of our family. He's meant the world to everybody in our family and we'll be eternally grateful for it. If my grandfather were here, I would say to him, thank you. Thank you for showing us the importance of family. Thank you for inviting strangers into your home. Thank you for giving of yourself to philanthropic and service organizations. Thank you for teaching us the love of travel and adventure. Thank you for caring for everyone you touched. Thank you for showing us the importance of giving back. Thank you for being you.